Come on. Tired of, I want to see how you're going to do this. Oop, oop. Ooh, I like the way he's looking at us. If you want to get over there, you better go fast because he's intent on putting you over here. Go fast. Look how he Oh my God, it's like a little alligator. I didn't know they got up that high. Me either. Look how high he is. You don't want to shell the That's unbelievable. Hurry, man. He's coming. Run. Go fast. No, now what you doing? Bring your camera over here real quick. Ha, ha. How fast is he? He can't go too fast. He's about wide open, feet moving. What do you want to give me a rundown on? Where he lives. Oh. Uh, right over here, look. See that cobra? He lives under that first cover. Or sometimes... Is it getting too hot on him? Yeah, sometimes right here. Oh, right here? Yeah, now what he'll do... I've been training him for since I lived next door. The kids will come by and, and watch him. I'll come out with food, and I'll give it that stump. And he's here to come up, and I'll feed him. But I don't usually see him out the ditch. And you get your booty butt over He's there. going. You need to help him. Oh Daddy, don't help him. I'm not going to hurt him. No, you don't even need to help him. He's got it. I'm scared you're going to cut him. Let him go, Sammy. I'm not going to hurt him. He knows where he is. That's my boy. I've been feeding him. That's your pet. He ain't no pet. i just been feeding him. Come on, Tyler. I want to see how you're going to do this. Oop, oop. And where'd he go? Well, now he's either going to go up under that tree root right there. Right up under there, see? Mm-hmm. Or he's going to go down the ditch to his house underneath that cupboard over there. But if I come out to see him, all I got to do is stomp this bank. And he's here to come right up. He's here to come right up. And I feed him. Why wouldn't he have gone through that tunnel? Why would he have gone outside on the hot concrete? I don't know. <laughs> uh, two or three years ago was the first time I ever saw him. And I started feeding him. And the reason why I, I tried out to stomp the ground and feed, to fe feed him is my grandfather. Uh, on the creek in front of the house years ago, he'd go down there in the evening and throw out bread, stomp the bank and leave. After about three or four or five weeks, I mean days and a week or two or whatever, he could go down there with his fishing pole, stomp the bank, and just pull the fish out. I mean, they, they was waiting to be fed. So I figured, well, they work on fish, let me try the turtle. So I started feeding the turtle. And over a period of time, the neighborhood kids saw me doing it, and they would bring down, they'd come down and do it. But that's the first time I've seen him out of that ditch this year. Uh, I've only seen him out of the ditch total in the last three years, maybe three or four times. And usually he walks across the yard, though I don't have no idea what he's doing. He or she, I don't even know. And he'll go get back in the ditch. But he's, he'll stay there as long as I feed him. So tell us how you trained him, what you were telling me earlier about you would stomp the ground. Yeah, I just go out there, and, and I knew he was in the ditch. So I would stomp the ground. You know, one or two, you know, man, or two times, ten times, whatever you do. Just, just make sure it's repetitious. Same thing every time. And when you stomp, when you first do it, he's going to stay hit. He won't come out. You just throw the food and leave. And keep that up every day, a little bit every day. Hot dogs or whatever you feed him, bread, it don't matter. Uh, and over a period of time, he'll hear that stomp and his head will come up. And then when you move, he'll duck his head back down, but he's there. And you feed him, then it gets to a point where you go out there and stomp the ground, he'll come right up out of the water, wherever he's at, and you feed him, and he'll sit there and eat while you're looking at him. He gets used to you. You're not bothering him. That's why I don't mess with him. And I, two or three times, I had to ask the kids to please quit throwing rocks at him. Aww. <laughs> Them little fellas. Uh, and his, his best that they don't get in that ditch. Because that little fella right there can bite your finger off. Mm -hmm. And no questions asked. And what kind, what is he? He's a common snapper. He's not an alligator snapper. He's a common snapping turtle. How could you tell? His shell. Look at his shell. The alligator turtle has got a ridge, high ridges on his back. 
and if they're full grown, they tremendously, tremendous size difference. They both get big, really big. But uh, I don't know. I think the alligator snapper, I think the wreck is like 150, 200 pounds, maybe more. I don't know. I haven't kept up with it lately. Their common snapper, uh, 20, 25, 30 pounds is a big snapper. And they are getting kind of rare in spots. That's what they make turtle soup out of. That and saw shell turtles. That is a mid-sized snapping turtle. That's not near by the big one. It's way bigger than the one I got at the house. They, they live for over 100 years sometimes. It takes years for them to get any size at all. And this one here, God knows how old he was. Here we are at Starkey Farmstead. <laughs>